hi YouTube so today I've got a quite an interesting one I went back and uh, one of my subscribers Jeff Slade mentioned something uh, which was quite interesting and that was he spoke about a review done by Andy at AAR and that was on the Diana Storm Rider which is very similar to this uh, Artemis PR 900 so I went to go watch that video and he mentioned something that was very interesting that uh, he got more accuracy out of the single shot tray than he did out of the magazine so today I've got the single shot tray I'm going to be shooting the Gamma Pro Magnums I've got my target set up at 40 meters so that's quite a, a distance for this kind of power rifle uh, and with quite heavy pellets so 40 meters it's the maximum distance I can go in my yard so going to take five shots 40 meters I'm going to be holding bang on and uh, let's see how it goes another thing that I noticed yesterday on this uh, cheaper scope if I put on the reticle um, just on a low setting I've got it on two now I can actually see the crosshairs quite a bit clearer so I'm going to be shooting like that as well let's take five shots Let's see how it goes. Let's see if there's an improvement using this single shot tray. And yeah, 40 meters, nice distance. So let's see how, how much accuracy we can get out of it. more or less what I expected slightly under the target but I'm not using holdover or anything like that so As you can hear the wind is really pumping today you can almost see how the pellets are drifting off to the left the wind coming from this side so that's four shots Let's take one more. Ah, oh, man, this is a lot of fun. Let's go have a look at that group and let's see how we did. All right, so let's have a quick look at this grouping. Not the greatest grouping, but also not terrible for one of the first attempts at this kind of a distance. So this was 40 meters, and we see we've got around about a two and a half inch group, 62 millimeters. And um, this last shot was quite a bit further down. Before that, we had quite a nice little group here, four shots. So if we could have got five in there, I would have been pretty happy. So definitely uh, not a bad grouping what I'm going to do now I'm going to put the target out at 20 meters the same as what we had it yesterday shoot another five shots uh, with the single shot tray so let's see how that goes see you now okay so I've got the target out 20 meters uh, same as we had it yesterday let's take five shots let's see what happens
definitely a lot easier shooting at 20 meters than 40 with this scope the maximum magnification that I've got here is 6 so not very high magnification Alright, let's take one more and we can have a look at that grouping. Alright, let's go see how that grouping looks. Alright, so let's look at that group. 20 meters, definitely a much, much nicer group. We had four shots all touching each other right here four four shots all touching each other only had the one that was a little bit high over here that could have been an error by me or maybe just a pellet that was a little bit uh, different to the others but four shots all in a nice tight group so definitely it does look to me like a, a single shot tray is yielding a little bit better results so yeah there you have it gamma pro magnums 20 meters that group is uh, including that top one 18 millimeters center to center so definitely a very nice grouping and very happy with that uh, i'm going to keep on shooting enjoy the rest of your day please don't forget to like and subscribe see you guys later bye